Didn't feel too bad out there today. Some clouds around. Kind of looked like it was going to rain, but it really never did in most areas. A couple of showers and storms and spots, but still a couple rolling in tonight. We showed you earlier this little thunderstorm coming in through Mexico, kind of falling apart already, but a little quick shower maybe for five or ten minutes is possible here near Brownsville and then in the parts of eastern Cameron County. Even this little shower passing by east of Los Fresnos or so. Uh, so a, a little shower possible in the overnight hours and spots, but again, very spotty if anything. And same thing tomorrow. You might catch a shower briefly in some areas, but it's going to be few and far between. It looks like temperatures mostly in the upper 90s in Star County tomorrow afternoon. The chances for rain at about 20% mid to upper 90s in Hidalgo County and mostly lower to middle 90s in Cameron and Wilsey counties, including 93 in Los Fresnos and 88, though the cool spot at South Padre Island. So European model, you know, I've been explaining the last day or two, we're kind of like in between here. We have a little wheat disturbance to the south that's been bringing more rain to our south. We have a high pressure to the north, which is keeping most of North Texas dry. And in between, we're kind of just in and out of some of these clouds and occasionally a spotty shower or two. And that may be true again tomorrow. You may catch a quick shower, but most of the time, maybe just some clouds here and there, keeping temperatures from getting too hot. By the time we get into the Thursday, same thing. This little disturbance is moving away, so you notice all the green kind of following with it going away. So spotty showers are possible, but most of the time we're looking for just maybe some passing clouds Thursday. I think by Friday things are a little more stable, so almost no chance for rain on Friday and maybe Saturday. You know, might be one little sea breeze shower somewhere in the afternoon. And then as we get into Sunday and Monday, some of the models do hint at still some pretty decent moisture around and maybe a little bit of a more unstable air mass over us. So you might catch a couple more sea breeze and showers, but you know, we go from maybe rain chances of 5% to maybe 10 or 15% by then by Sunday and Monday. So not a big increase in the rain chances. So probably for most of you, we're not looking for very much rain over the next seven days, but probably your two best chances remaining are still Wednesday and Thursday at about 20%. And then small, if any chances by Friday and Saturday, maybe a little bounce back in an isolated shower by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Hurricane season getting into about week six or so here of it and Gulf of Mexico Atlantic very quiet. No disturbances really now all the way out in toward Africa. We have tropical storm Eugene, which is weakening, moving away from Mexico and tropical depression 6 E, which looks better, but also moving due west could become a hurricane, but will go out in the middle of nowhere. So good looking news. If you're going to the coast the next couple days, temperatures in the 80s, light southeasterly breezes tomorrow, water temperatures in the 80s. Probably not going to rain there. If there is a shower during the day, it's likely to form with the sea breeze farther inland, but you see a low tide in the morning or sorry, a high tide in the morning, low tide in the evening. First one five seventy forecast. Still no big time heat ready to roar back in here, so no record highs, but highs generally in the mid to upper 90s. Most areas, of course, that ranges from the upper 80s at the coast to eventually maybe over 100 in Star County and Western Hidalgo County by the weekend. But rain chances are about 20% the next couple days and then kind of just partly the mostly sunny most days after that. So we'll keep hoping for a little more rain in your first one five forecast coming up.